We both loved playing with Lego as kids, so Lego have a very special place in our hearts. So we were really super pumped about making this movie. I am so pumped up! The idea was to take a very homemade brick film and try to make that as cinematic as possible with lighting and camera angles and, and the type of things that you would do on a big budget live action movie. We're putting all this R&D into like how to get fingerprint smudges onto the Lego bricks, make sure that it has the realistic amount of variation in how the bricks are put together. Sounds awesome to me. It started off with the toys that they had. I mean, literally, Chris Miller brought his Spaceman toy that he had since he was a little kid. That's the level of detail, that's the level of realism that we want to create. Now you're talking! The idea of Benny was specific to uh, a blue classic Spaceman that I had with a cracked helmet, and I didn't crack my helmet. He, was, he took care I of his don't, toys. I take care of my toys. I don't rough house <laughs> with them. Special! Everybody was really on board with the sort of mixed media hybrid CG to look like stop motion. There's no reason why you should move. Right. You just moved and you just wrecked it. Uh -huh. You wrecked it! We had an awesome animation team, and they did an amazing job of creating this world that looks like a Lego set come to life. Are you ready, my son? Yes, I am. I think. The directors wanted to really get the idea that the characters were holding a brick and putting brick on brick. And we were able, on our machines, to pull in any Lego brick from the Lego library and add it to our scene. So that gave us a lot of power to, to make stuff up on the fly. What the heck is that? It's a double-decker couch. You are so disappointing on so many levels. We wanted the water to be made out of Lego bricks. We wanted the explosions and fire and smoke and all elements to be made out of animating Lego bricks. And always be sure to keep the soap out of your ass! So that if you froze any single frame of the movie, it would be something that you could actually build yourself. Come with me if you want to not die. We built a system that really utilizes real Lego bricks. And we've actually used that system for all of our modelers. One of the things that we're really positive about is the fact that the, the film itself is not a cheat. It's a real Lego block film. Like, all of the things that you see on screen are 100% Lego blocks. If anybody has black parts, I need them, okay? I only work in black, and sometimes very, very dark gray. Despite the fact that everybody thinks Lego is just plastic and it's really simple, the brick technology that's behind this film is quite remarkable. Whoa! When you see a vista of thousands and thousands of buildings, those buildings are real Lego buildings that haven't been cheated, they're made out of bricks. That's the best thing about design work like this, is that you require the intelligence of so many different people. They're pretty great at making things look cool and awesome, and that's exactly what we were looking for, is cool and awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. No way, this is my jam. Ah! Ah! There's actually a lot of macro photography that we're doing of real Lego bricks because Chris and Phil are striving for absolute realism and, and a, a sense that we're actually in a real Lego set. Awesome! I think people will see all of the crazy amounts of detail that everybody put into it. Our dream was that you would turn the movie off and then run home and then build the most silly, ridiculous Lego thing you could. Great. I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again. I wasn't listening. 